Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am truly, truly excited, and that's because we are going over the Steak Lovers Ultimate Steak Pizza, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star, y'all. Now, first things first, we're going to take this yellow onion and we're going to roll it around. Yes, you saw what I did there. That way we have a slot to remove the skin. And then we are going to cut the onion in half. And then we're going to julienne slice that half of onion, y'all. Now, we need to make sure we are holding the knife proper. You see the thumb is tucked. Index finger and the thumb holding the blade are on the side, not on the top of the knife. No index finger on the top of the knife. We have to hold the knife the proper way safety first y'all and then we take our time and slice julian style y'all you don't have to have those tomato seeds y'all just remove them out with a fork or a spoon whatever you want and then we're gonna slice this tomato and we're gonna get a rough chop on this spinach we're not looking for anything fancy with this spinach y'all we just need a simple rough chop on the spinach because we're gonna add that too as well to the pizza now this is a hack we use all the time in the kitchen. You may know it, you may not. Take all of that out. We don't need that in there. That's just bitter, bitter, bitter waste of water we don't need, y'all. We don't want all of that. Look at that, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. We remove it out of that paper towel. Place it into a, another paper towel that is in a bowl. And we let that go ahead and dry. But we're going to make sure we fold it, wrap it. We still want that moisture to be removed. And you see how less moisture is in that in comparison to what it was before. Now we're dealing with the cut of steak. Extra thin shaved. But look at that bacon, y'all. We're going to include some bacon in this too as well. Yes. Now we have bottom round. That is the cut of beef we're working with. And you see it's shaved extra thin, y'all. Extra, extra thin. Thin cuts of meat are great. But did you know, bottom round is also great for jerky, y'all. It is good for jerky. That's what I would use in the restaurants to make jerky, homemade jerky. And a lot of people use it to make homemade jerky. It's been used to make jerky for, I don't know, many, 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 and many years, y'all. So... Also, don't always oil your meat, y'all. Butter your meat. Butter up that meat. Yes, mix it in well. It adds great flavor to your protein. Yes, it does. And I also do the same with my vegetables, too. Not just with meats. I do it with my vegetables, too. I don't like my vegetables swimming in all that oil or my protein swimming in all that oil. So I tend to use butter this is beef base that we're adding in and when we use the beef base we have to make sure that we rub it in good and also use beef base with moderation understand that it is packed with sodium too as well it is similar to a bouillon cube essentially next we want to add whatever flavor agents we want to season up our protein this bottom round steak, y'all. And I love to use different cuts of meat. And I love to use thinly shaved meats here more so recently because they are cost efficient, cost effective. They are a cost saver, y'all. Instead of getting the whole steak, I might not want to eat a steak, but I might want some of that beef protein, so I get it that way. Now, notice, look at this bag cheese that's shredded do you see that white on it that white is because it's dry now look at the sheen on this block cheese that we're going to shred ourselves notice it's not dry because it doesn't have all that contact with the air notice when you get block cheese how tightly sealed the package is y'all compared to when you get the pack of shredded cheese already so that is the big difference. That's the melting process right there. It's all in there compared to shredded cheese 
that is in the bag already shredded for you versus you shredding the cheese yourself. You can taste it. And during that melting process, it looks much, much better, y'all. Yes, it does. And we're using pepper jack cheese as well in the mix, y'all. You might as well use a blend. I'm not using the cheddar you saw earlier. No, 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 no. But I just wanted to show you. We're sticking with the Monterey Jack and we're using the pepper jack, y'all. But that red cheese you see in there? Yes, I did some quesadillas, y'all. I did some flaming hot quesadillas, y'all. So that's what that cheese is from. And check out this, y'all. Whoo! Go look at that flaming Cajun video I did on the Alfredo sauce. And then you'll see what this Alfredo sauce comes from. This is not your standard Alfredo sauce you can buy in the store. This is not a marinara sauce. Just go check out the Cajon pasta video I did, that flaming Cajon pasta video I did, y'all. So we're going to take this Alfredo sauce. And we're going to spread it out, y'all. Doesn't it look so colorful? So, so colorful. That is red. I know it looks like a marinara, but it's not. That's why you need to check out that video. It's imperative that you do. Because once you see how I made this flaming Cajon Alfredo sauce, you are going to be satisfied with the results. Yes, you will. Now we're going to take this chopped spinach add that on there too we chopped it up we allowed it to dry and now it is able to be sprinkled upon without it sticking together that's the whole premise of taking that chopped spinach or whatever green vegetable parsley whatever you have and allowing it to be dried out through squeezing it through the paper towel spreading it out and letting it dry or even if you let it air dry and now it's time to throw that bottom round steak into the cast iron y'all now we have it on high heat after we get all this protein in that cast iron skillet now we're cutting that heat off and we're gonna work it and you know why y'all because the meat is shaved extra thin we don't want it to be a leather pizza no we want it to still be steak y'all yes we do so we're cutting the heat off and we're gonna work it and we're gonna work it and then we're going to pull it off after we get each piece flipped and let it sit. And then we're going to go ahead and get to removing each piece off while the heat is off. The heat is still off, but it was on high heat so it could get a good sear. So once I got each piece of this bottom round steak in the pan, I cut the heat off. Now I cut the heat back on here, y'all. The heat is back on high again. And then I'm going to cut it off once I get them all in. They all in? It's getting cut off. Because this cast iron is hot. And all I'm looking for is a sear on each side. And it's going to continue to cook. Because once you remove it from the heat, it still goes through the cooking process Yes, the temperature dissipates fast. But it's still going through the cooking process. And we're going to throw our veggies in that same cast iron skillet with a touch of butter in there. And we're going to get to sauteing up these veggies, y'all. Yes, we are. We're going to take some minced garlic, too. Throw some minced garlic in there. Yes, we are. Why not get it going, y'all? You let that sit just like that for a quick second so you can get that sear. And then we're going to work it, y'all. The heat is not on high. It's close to high, but it's not on high. I have it on about a level eight. You can consider that to be medium to high heat. And then I'm going to cut this up all the way to level 10, which is high heat on my uh, cooking range, y'all. All right, we're going to work it, and we're going to work it, and we're going to work it, y'all. Now, let me ask you a question. How have you been? I'm going to ask you, how have you been? I hope you've been okay. I hope you've been better than okay. Now, if you haven't been, that's okay. Trust me, it's okay. Because tomorrow is going to be a better day. And that's why we're going through this right now to alleviate whatever happened through the day, y'all. We're going to let it go. And we're going to keep on cooking. Because keep in mind, food is entertainment, y'all. And are you not 
entertained. You got to be entertained when you are in the kitchen. It needs to be fun. Don't let it feel like work, y'all. I do this every day for a living, so it's truly work for me. But you see, it's a passion, y'all. I love to do what I'm doing. I'm taking this bottom round, and I'm going to slice it, y'all. That's what we're going to do. Bottom round is tough. Now, after eating this dish, I would suggest not slicing it too much. I would slice it one way. That's it. I will not turn it the other way and slice it because you need a little bit of chew factor. And it did not have enough for me with this French loaf that I'm using because you want to use that French loaf bread because it has that crunch factor. And take a look at that, y'all. It turned out phenomenal. This dish turned out phenomenal. That's the only advice I would say is don't cut the protein too much. Don't chop it too much. Just have it a little bit stringy, y'all. Now we're going to lay out that bacon that we cooked. Yes, we are. Don't that look colorful? Knowing that the holiday seasons are right around the corner, y'all. Now think about serving this. Think about serving this to your family, for yourself, for your friends, for some clients. Or whoever, a neighbor, whoever it is in your life, y'all, just think about fixing it for them and they would be happy. Trust me, I fixed this for myself and my wife and we were happy, y'all. <laughs> Take a look at that. That's what it's all about, y'all. I want y'all to be happy. Y'all are my family. I understand that there are many people all across YouTube, y'all. But y'all are my family. Anybody that watches the video is my family. Anybody that hits the subscribe button is my family. It's not about a subscription. It's about spreading what you know all across so others can implement it in their life, y'all. So we're going to add a little bit of that cheese on top. A little bit of that chopped spinach on top, too. There we go. Mm -hmm. We pulled it out the oven. Final product. Now it needs to go ahead and be sliced up. I mean, you really can just pick up this whoo, whole half. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Yes, that look good, y'all. Colorful, colorful, colorful. Go back and watch that Flame on Cajon video I did on that Cajun Alfredo, y'all. You're going to see why. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's what it's all about. It's all about you pursuing everything that you want to do. And, hey, if you want to eat, Eat, y'all. Eat. And make sure that y'all come on over and join the family. Because, I mean, this is plenty. This is plenty. We weren't able to eat all this, y'all. This was plenty. And I fixed some for y'all. Take a look at this plate, y'all. That's what it's all about. I mean, come on, y'all. Look at that crust, too. Look at the color. I mean, that look good, Dale. That who? That's what I'm saying, y'all. It's all about sharing and what you know and sharing what you love. If you have any questions or if you feel like it's something that we miss, let us know so we can add it to the playlist, y'all. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all, because we truly care about your opinion. We truly care about what you think. And we'll see y'all on the next side.